Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will review elements and compounds and the difference between heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures. So, so let's, let's do this. this. Our learning targets for today are number one, I can describe and explain the difference between pure substances and compounds, and number two, I can describe and explain the difference between heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures. So what is the difference between a pure substance and a compound? First, let's take a look at the two definitions. A pure substance is pure because it only consists of one thing. A pure substance or element cannot be broken down into other types of substances. A compound is a combination of two or more things that can be broken down into other substances. Let's use gold as an example. Which costs more? 24 karat gold, 18 karat gold, 14 karat gold, or 10 karat gold? Let's find out by looking at the following chart. As you can see, 10 karat gold is only 41.7% pure gold. This is because it is a mixture of gold and other substances which protects it from getting bent, but it's also not the purest quality of gold. Look at 14 karat gold. It's 58.3% pure gold and the rest is a mixture of other substances. 18 karat gold is 75% pure and the rest is a mixture of other substances. But notice when you look at 24 karat gold, it is 100% pure. There is no mixture of this gold with any other substances. Every element in 24 karat gold is gold. No mixtures, nothing else but pure gold. Here is another chart that shows the percentage of gold present and the percentage of other metals present. Notice that 24 karat gold is the only one with no other metals present. This is why 24 karat gold is the most expensive gold because it is in its purest form with no other substances combined with it. Look at the following diagram. Notice that the helium and oxygen atoms are not combined with any other elements but themselves. Look at the water molecule though. It is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. This lets you know that in this example, helium and oxygen are examples of elements and the water molecule is an example of a compound because it is made up of two or more elements that can be broken down into smaller parts. To sum it all up, a pure substance consists of only one element that cannot be broken down any further. A compound consists of two or more elements that can be broken down into its individual elements. Take a look at the following water molecule which consists of two hydrogen and one oxygen. Since it is a compound, it can be broken down into its individual components of hydrogen and oxygen. Quick check for understanding. Determine if the following are elements or compounds. Pause the video and take two minutes to complete. A homogeneous mixture is a mixture of substances blended so thoroughly together that you cannot see individual substances. Every sample of the mixture will show the same amounts of each substance. Homogeneous mixtures can be solid, liquid, gas, or plasma mixtures. Let's use lemonade as an example. When you put lemonade mix, water, and sugar in a pitcher and stir, you get lemonade. Now the more you stir, the more it mixes evenly throughout and everything blends together. At this point, you can't see the individual sugar, lemonade mix, or water. All three have combined together, making the mixture even throughout. Another example of a homogeneous mixture is brass, which is a mixture of 30% zinc and 70% copper. Notice that you cannot tell the zinc from the copper in brass because it is uniform throughout just like the following brass instruments. Quick check for understanding. Take one minute to write down at least five other homogeneous mixtures. Pause the video now. You got this. Now let's talk about heterogeneous mixtures. A heterogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the composition is not uniform or the same throughout the mixture. Vegetable soup is a heterogeneous mixture. Any different spoonful of soup will contain varying amounts of different vegetables and other components of the soup. Think about a salad. There are many different materials in a salad that you can pick out of it such as lettuce, tomatoes, carrots, and whatever else you have in it. Quick check for understanding. 
Take one minute to write down at least five other heterogeneous mixtures. Pause the video now, we have all the faith in the world in you. In summary, pure substances are made up of only one type of element, while compounds are made up of two or more elements chemically bonded together. You cannot break an element down any further, but you can break a compound into its individual components like H2O or water. Heterogeneous mixtures are not thoroughly blended, so you can see and pick out an individual part of the mixture. Homogeneous mixtures are blended so thoroughly it looks like one substance. Homogeneous mixtures are uniform or the same throughout their makeup, just like wine, air, or steel. And that's our video for today. Now let's head to now to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining the differences between elements and compounds and homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are hired for proficiency, record your results your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you, you better, better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan this QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace and have a positive, productive day. You are weak, Sonnefell. Unsure of yourself. <laughs>